Welcome back, everybody. Chuck and Stacy here with VO Buzz Weekly. Uh, what's going on, Stacy? Oh my gosh, we have totally cool dudes. They are the creators of the new Comedy Central show. Jeff and some aliens, Alessandro Minoli and Sean Donnelly. You're gonna love them. They're Absolutely. So fun. Let's get buzzed. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to Feel Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacy J. Aswan. Hey guys, so our guests are here to talk about, among other things, their fabulous latest creation, the animated series Jeff and Some Aliens that you can see right now on Comedy Central. We have so much to talk about, so you know what, we're going to start getting buzzed right now with the talented team of Alessandro Manoli and Sean Donnelly. Yes. Welcome, you guys. Hey. Can you hear Thank the you. crowd, dude? <laughs> Look at the studio audience. They're going wow. crazy. Wow. Okay, everybody, sit, sit down, down. Sit down. down. <laughs> Show must begin. later. Jeez, Louise. Oh. <laughs> crazy. It's an How the heck are you guys? You know what's funny is that the minute you guys walked in, mm -hmm. I knew you were funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Right back at you, Chuck. Really? Yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. It's like all of a sudden they're like saying little things. I said, hey, you want to put anything in your water like uh, vanilla drops? And then one of them says acid. And I'm like, what? <laughs> this I guy. wanted some acid. It yeah. was freaking funny. Mm -hmm. Hey, he's very, just very, very cracking cool. jokes you all mean, day long. I just have an acid problem. You mean hyaluronic I... acid for your skin. That's what he was that's talking about. Meant, yes. Right? Yeah. 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 That's a thing? Anti-aging acid. You put acid on your skin? That's a thing people... Hyaluronic acid is like the magic thing for skin. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. See? Hey. Yeah. You don't need that yet. See? Just wait till you're about 48. I'm right. here for you. You're Thank here you. for us. We yeah. don't just talk about voiceovers. Exactly. You're a lot of dermatologists <laughs> conquered you're on the show. We're actually here for our beauty segment. <laughs> That's nice. so funny. So, so um, what is your regimen? No. We're okay. gonna we're gonna kick it right in, man. I have <laughs> nice. a, a, a question for you guys. This is so cool. Stacy was telling me about this, but you guys have been friends since like the third grade, right? Yeah. Which is insane. That is so cool. We want to know about <laughs> that. Uh, and then you guys went to NYU together. Right? Yeah. And uh, so what do you think feel, you know, since you've been together for so long and just working together, what are your secrets of like this longevity <laughs> partnership that you guys have? Oh man. Well, if we told you, they wouldn't be secrets anymore, Well, sure. the yeah. reveal. We are going Don't to tell yeah. them our secrets, Sean. <laughs> yeah. Don't the tell them about like our friendship. The, the secrets of our relationship. Um, one, of them, one of them is a fax machine. Um, that's go. what kept fax us. Machine. That's what kept us in contact through the '90s. Uh, nice. Because we're old, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are real we old. We fax too. Yeah, you guys fax. Totally fax. Yeah. Um, there's you can there's still places that still use fax machines. I know. Absolutely, they're you not totally like, gone yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, gone, but... Well, you know, like I feel like it's like uh, you know when you play taboo, and if you have a partner that you don't know, you're yes. gonna get killed and you're gonna yeah. lose. But if you have someone that you know well, you can be like, hey, remember you that can... movie we saw yesterday? And you're yeah. like, exactly. you can cheat. <laughs> yeah. Totally. yeah, it's not cheating. It's just called like dynamic. So yeah. I feel like that's I feel like that's good when we're writing together. It's a similar thing. It's like taboo every day because you're like, hey, remember that guy we met like you know when we were twelve? Like that character yeah. can be like that, mm -hmm. and then other writers might be like, who? And you're like, don't worry about it. You know? <laughs> you're like, come on, I'm talking about Joey. <laughs> when was yeah. when was you even, have like your own language. Like even, shorthand for sure. Yeah. Or even just random stuff that like happened to us that's not even, that was like mildly funny and we're like, yeah, let's throw that in there. Like, like the, oh, we were in India once and we saw a woman that looked like Dave Grohl. <laughs> and we were like, that woman looks just like Dave Grohl. And then we that were, at, an that, that, well, the whole episode. <laughs> the whole episode it's a five part it's series. Like it's yeah. barely, I mean, yeah, it, no, just, like, it, it made sense for that moment. We were just able to just use it. Yeah, so there's a moment where like, what are these guys talking about? I don't know, maybe there's, they see a woman that looks like Dave Grohl. Good well, you enough. Know, but, and like, so, you know, our the, the more shared experiences, the more yeah. they have to draw on yeah. like that. But Dude, hopefully really there's a better... Wants, he really wants to talk about your friendship. Yeah, right? friendship, I, I don't want to stop that. If, so. if friendship is Valentine's important. Valentine's or something like that, he's Today, really loving Well, I was going to say that, like, you know, the basis of, like, you know, so much of... Uh, we, we would just talk all the time, you know what I mean? Yeah. Even as kids, and I remember... Actually, well, our moms obviously saw us as kids. My mom was mentioning, like, you two would just walk down the, you know, walk ahead and just, like, be, like, talking, 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 mm -hmm. talking for, like, you know, hours at a time. And I guess that's good because that's what we have to do all day writing. Right. So, like, you got to be with somebody that you can just talk totally. to all day long and be, like, you know what I mean? Because literally in the writer's room, you're just sitting there, you know, like, right. banging through eight million different uh, concepts. You have to, like, go down this and come back, you know, go down this hole and come back. So it's... Mm. Uh, I mean, it's obviously, a, you guys have the writing background. You have acting background. You have stand-up comedy, animating... Mm character development, do you find that you sort of each have your strengths um, and and you kind of complement each other in that way? It's sort of like, this is what I like to do, this is what I like to do, and you sort of don't micromanage each other? 
Yeah, I mean, we definitely have, uh, you know, different parts that, that are more, you know, Sean is more like uh, of, a, of the design and animation mind behind uh, the look of the show. Mm -hmm. I uh, do the voices of the three aliens, yes. you know what I mean? And uh, we I'm have like... by the way. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, you know, and then like music is... But like then, then there are parts, you know, like so much of it though is still like, you know, is like obviously like the story, which is like the, you know, the core of like where it all kind of comes from is mm -hmm. like the two of us coming together and and working through and then even music you know some is like yeah one, one of us would just be like how about like a thing that's just like do, 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 do. <laughs> like yeah. next thing you know that's like we got a composer with like strings you <laughs> right, know what i mean right, like you know right. and so yeah. that's yeah. just born out of uh, collaboration did you have yeah. to send yourself an audition for the voice of the aliens did yeah. you have to audition for it yes yeah <laughs> that was really hard Were you i was like please, please <laughs> like doing please how, how did you come up with the voices was it something were you guys were like were you like feeding him voices hey dude what about this for <laughs> Or did you just go, I'm just going to do uh, this voice? Yeah, I don't, I don't even actually remember that moment that well, but I think it was probably, <laughs> I think it was probably like the voices that sound the most different from each other, right? Right. right. So yeah. you got the high, you got the low, and you got the gravel, the gravel in the yeah. middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's like, uh, I mean, in the same way where it's like, and I think there was some element of that too, you know, like, well, John will do a sketch and be like, well, this guy, and I'll be like, hey, I like him, like, well, you know, and then maybe like add some hair or something like yeah, that, yeah. and like, so maybe I'll be like, and this this guy could sound like something like this, and you know, he might be like, yeah, yeah, maybe, you know, it's, it's fun to have someone to like, right, bounce right, off right. The, uh, That's so cool. So, the so, thing off of. Um, Jeff and some aliens is a spin off of Trip Tank, the animated shorts, yeah. right? Yeah. So, can you kind of go through that? beautiful process you went through of like pitching to get to that green light from Comedy Central. Um, Was it a, I mean, talk biz. Yeah. <laughs> you want to know? You want to know our secrets of how we? No, no, no. Um, it's not a secret. No, 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 no. It's, 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 it's obviously there's it's, a lot it's, of content. You know, there's people out there watching saying like, sure. how do you get that green light? And and you know, yeah, no, what it, is the? It starts with, uh, you know, in our case, like we. The very first thing, which I think is important, is like we, the two of us together, were like, hey, it'd be cool to have a TV show. Let's make something. And so mm -hmm. we sat down, and it wasn't Jeff and Smalians. It was a, it was a different show called yeah. Basement Gary, which is like on YouTube now. But we like sat down and literally just like the two of us together, cranked out this ten minute like mini pilot. Right. And then that you know led to talking, you know, I'm pitching Jeff and Smalians as like a, a, a trip tank short. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, that. Process that was just like you know it was like a, a a Bible with like three three pictures on it and like you know and, and a little bit of the world and uh, then we over the course of two years of Trip Tank we got to make nine shorts and then you know at the end of that we still then pitched the right, show. Right, it was yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I think it, but from the moment that we had the idea and we're like we should make this a show to the moment that it became a full show I think it was like six years. Mm -hmm. Wow, and, and it's not that that was the only thing we were doing no, no, twenty four hours yeah. a day. But yeah. I think that like the first time we had the idea, and we went to Comedy Central before Trip Tank, right? And we pitched it as a full show, yeah. and then we were like, oh, let's hope that they pick this up, you know? And we were like, blah blah blah. We were trading off things, and we were like, I think it went well. And they're like, that wasn't bad. When you do the real pitch, like we'll be curious to see how it goes. <laughs> oh, wow. so, yeah. You're like that was a real pitch. <laughs> yeah, and like, had, hey, dagger I, is in my heart. Yeah, like, yes. how does it get any more realer than that? Right. right? Yeah. It's not it was, real for me. Well, actually, yeah. and then we realized like it was good to get like you know uh, get a reality check because we we pitched it and they were like and you know uh, uh, we realized if we're gonna like pitch this for real. We should literally just have like the whole thing memorized. You know what I mean? We should be like right. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, we we uh, we had had some experience by that point because we'd also been pitching stuff at other places. We did like a thing with Fox, and we like had like a a pitch with like characters that like talked. We'd be like, "This is Sam," and he'd be like, "Hey, what's up?" You know what I mean? And so yeah, we like yeah. do the work for us. Yeah. Right. Um, and uh, we pitched a pitch that was probably even too big a pitch. By the end of it, uh, the president uh, of Comedy Central was like, "Geez, guys, you got it? Got it? Uh, any more characters you want to like?" <laughs> you had like sixteen characters. We're like this guy <laughs> is a guy he met at the farmers market. Okay, <laughs> he doesn't like him, but he like so. You wore him down. They're like, look how hard they work. Basically, so many. totally. Yeah, like a whole but that village. was like, yeah, that was yeah. like five years or something after the first pitch, mm -hmm. so a lot, yeah. of, a lot of had been developed through the process of making those nine shorts on how long, Trip Tank. How right. long was that that pitch? That actual pitch? I, I guess it was like 15, 20 minutes. The first one it, or the second one? The second one. The real oh, one. The real, the real yeah. pitch. The real one. Yeah, it was probably like 15 or 20 minutes. 15 yeah. or 20 minutes. Yeah. But Did it, it feel like days? 
Did you guys? No, it actually went. I mean, it was fun once you get in there. Once you know what you're talking yeah. about, we had like two episode ideas too, yeah. and then it was I, just like I think yeah, yeah. Like when we pitched other things like to Fox, we kind of memorized it, you know. And we were like like a kid at a bar mitzvah or something that's right. like has your little thing, <laughs> your radiance. So we just be like, <laughs> yes, don't worry. So we'd just be like, well, they do this like candles thing at bar mitzvahs. I don't know how many bar mitzvahs uh, you go to, many. right? But they'll just be like, you know, Grandma, I love hanging out with you. So that's why this is candle number two, right? Yeah. And then right. they say, have right. them all written down and yes. they all rhyme. Yes. So we had that. So it'd be like, Sammy, he's the kind of guy that does this. And then I'll send her jump in with his part. And we kind of, yeah. and then the president of Comedy Central, I think, could tell that we were sort of like, you know, like Beastie Doing Boys. And 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 like that. So he would right. try to throw us off. And he'd be like, all right, well, let's talk about something else. What about that? And we'd be like, uh, so, no, no, no. Like, <laughs> and so like, I think we had this whole thing planned out, but he kept kind of like putting mm -hmm. a stick in the spokes to, right. to knock us off, which was good because I think it made us a little less stiff, you know? So yeah. Totally, yeah, totally, yeah. totally, so, like, totally, man. After, yeah, you definitely get like, you know, you, you go in, there's like, it, there's a, like, you know, there's all the executives, you got, we brought our agent, we had like, it was like a whole like gang of people, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and you, and you want to tell like a fun story and you want it to be, so it's got to be like professional and like, you know, well thought out, but you also don't want it to be, yeah, like a, like exactly. some sort of like, you know, shtick, yeah. you know what I mean? You yeah, want it exactly. To be like, uh, so. Yeah. So right after the pitch, did, did you guys feel good about it? Did you feel like this is going to happen? Did they give you an I, We felt pretty good about it. Yeah. I forget how long it was. It was like five or six months later that they actually mm. called. They were like, we're going to hear within a month. And they're like, we'll wow. hear the next month. So and you had like, to wait that long? <laughs> after the pitch, we got an offer to write two scripts. We knew pretty right. soon that they like, wanted us to write. some key steps. Yeah. You got a second date. Uh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, got a second cool. date. That's the second date cool. we got pretty think, quick. Well, know? yeah. I think what happened, if you really want to talk biz more, they've said, should we make a pilot? And then I think we were like, we had just made a pilot and it took a really long time because you have to do all the animation and yeah. stuff right, and so right. we were like why don't we just write it instead of spending like a year on a pilot yeah. that they could in theory then pass on right exactly so yeah. we were, and, and we also thought that like and one story you can't necessarily get across all the different elements of the show so maybe if we had two scripts we could show like different worlds and different characters exactly so, yeah. so we did that and uh, we wrote two scripts and then we then we waited after yep. we handed those in for mm -hmm. a long time and we were kind of like should we have done the pilot did we mess up doing yeah. the two scripts oh, that's <laughs> a beautiful you know? man that's really cool by yeah. the way the reason why we like talking biz and talking <laughs> shop and getting right. deeper into the, the the nuts and bolts of what it is that creates something amazing is that mm -hmm. nobody talks about it yeah, everybody yeah. thinks that you know some like these two guys just oh, came about they wrote this thing they went hey we got a show and they said oh, okay great let's do it no you should know how it takes a long time and it's right. like there's a lot of because then you know if the myth is yeah you just walk in like back of the like off the cuff idea yeah. and you've got a show then people are going to pull their hair out being like right. well right. you know that sounds how, impossible how many like how many things you've written that that are haven't had their time yet you know, it's, yeah. it's not so that, oh, I wrote one thing and it got picked up. I mean, you've written no, 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 I mean, thousands of things that are probably, I mean, eventually hundreds maybe. Hundreds of thousands. <laughs> hundreds well, no, of I mean, thousands. I, I mentioned this before in another thing, but like, you know, uh, for like one of my, for like 29th birthday or something, Sean actually gave me a thing, which was all our characters from all the different pitches, yeah. from all these different shows. Oh, wow. And like the percentage of dead characters that like, <laughs> oh. is pretty high, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're still alive in our hearts and minds, <laughs> yes. but like of they, course. they, you know, literally like we pitched this whole family of people, you know? Mm. Executed. Dead. Executed <laughs> fucking no. Get out of here. Oh my God. We don't care. Oh. But you know? I, will, I will say, Maybe they can come I think, back as ghosts. I think the general. thing they people should kind of keep it. in mind, like if people want any advice or something, yes. I think that like, w I think when you go into it, obviously the first idea and you're like, this is going to get picked up and this is a show and then somebody's like, pass. And then you're like, oh, that sucks and it hurts. And you're like, but you should realize that like, that's an important part of like the process is like developing your skills mm -hmm. and like even if you pitch something that's practice and then like the fact that like we had only really made one thing together like that like we had made little sketches but we made like one animated thing and so then yeah. Fox was interested enough they gave us a little bit of money to make a few more they then passed on it but like we learned a lot you get notes from people that like have of done course. it a lot and then right. I think that if we had not done that and like not developed all these different things that we wouldn't have been able to be ready to make the yeah. show that we made when it was ready. So yeah. mm -hmm. even though each time you're like, oh man, they passed, that sucks. It's like the other way to look at it is just that like, that was another great class if we, we took, you know what I mean? Right, and like exactly. the, the teachers were nice and like yeah. we got a decent totally, grade. That yeah. didn't, it wasn't an A++++ plus 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 maybe. So if we had gotten like, passed on until we were like 70 years old, uh, that show would be fucking amazing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, that would be a fucking awesome that show. Is yeah. a That's no awesome. Brainer. No, because I think anything is, it can be viewed as an opportunity or a punishment. Yeah. You could have at your Absolutely, first, at your first man. pass said, forget it, we don't have, well, but you didn't use it as a... Well, I think people shouldn't look at that as like a failure and then you're like, get pissed off about it. You should just kind of like consider that mm -hmm. a part of it. So you guys each wear 
multiple hats, you know, between writing, producing, directing, ta uh, on both sides of the glass, doing the voices of some of the characters, um, animating. Was that a conscious choice, or was that part of the creation of this show? How did you... No, that's, the, like, is from, like, the core of, like, what... We, like, as I said, like, we started, it was literally just the two of us doing, you know, every aspect mm -hmm. of it, you know what I mean? And, in uh, a basement apartment. In, in a basement that apartment. was later kicked out of because it was an illegal dwelling. <laughs> yeah. So that was, like, a summer in New York where it was literally just, like, the two of us being, like, let's just fucking do this, you know? And, like, yeah. uh... Uh, and so that was that was that was really fun, and we but, and we were able and like you know like you look at it now and it's like it's it's not the same level, but it's also it's still like mm -hmm. it's a it's a thing that like you know we made a thing and it's like <laughs> it's a thing that was made. It was a thing that was made. You can't take that away from <laughs> totally. us. So, so, All right. So what yeah. does it feel like? What does it feel like? So sorry, I was just gonna say like so to your question about mm -hmm. like you know now we have a whole like thing. you know. Yeah, people of now. like way more talented in you know in a lot of these fields even than you know than we are and we're just like and we, they're working with us and they're helping us and but it stays at its core it's like it's as though we just had like you know a lot of people come into that basement and be like all right, right. we need some help with this thing we need some help with that thing and and uh, you know that is and so in terms of roles too I think we were both doing slightly different stuff before so it was natural I think to where we would go like Alessandro went to acting school so it was natural to do a lot more of the voices and mm -hmm. you yeah. know I do yeah. like random voices of a guy that's like hey how's it going in the corner <laughs> and stuff like that but I'm not like you know vying for that the for the major really. roles yeah. right and then uh, I had done a lot more sort of an animation and music videos and so it was natural to like sort of mm -hmm. take uh, more of a role in that department and then we both would write and direct and yeah. do that kind of stuff so well, yeah I think it's great a, that you still have the creative freedom and ownership of your vision because I think sometimes that doesn't always happen oh yeah. yeah yeah no we've been really lucky I think that actually another part of even though it took so long and we had to make all these shorts and usually like I think a show just gets picked up that that probably is the reason why we were entrusted with like overseeing the whole thing and not mm -hmm. brought in all these like yep, absolutely. Uh, people. Yeah. And, so. and also yeah. credit, you know, goes to uh, Comedy Central for right. like giving us the, the and also to Shadow Machine, who is like you know produces with us and like and produces our show and does an incredible job and like, but also gives us like the the, the freedom to like you know to be. Uh, in charge yeah. of as, as much yeah. as you want to be. Yeah, the, like, it's cool that a lot of people have really great ideas and add all this stuff that you never could, but at the same time, sometimes it's midnight and everyone's gone home and it's still just the two of us in a room mm -hmm. and we're like, what about that scene? And then we'll rewrite it and then we'll re-record temp audio and then we'll right. re-storyboard like a crappy thing and we're like, there's a new scene there and people come back in the morning and we're like, we have a new scene yeah. and people are like, a new scene? Like, you <laughs> assholes. <laughs> <laughs> we worked really hard on that scene. Go to bed like normal people. Uh, but how are the fans responding to your show, man? Yeah. I think it seems like we have a, a pretty like loyal fan base of people that really like it and then yep. we've got people that are like, I hate it, I don't like it and then mm -hmm. you got people in between that are like, right. it's okay and like, I would imagine that's true for everything. Right? My perception is this. I think people at first glance like have, are very quick to like, be like, oh, I, I get this. It's a cartoon yeah. about Aliens and they they they're all they're all it, it sucks you know like, <laughs> yeah. that's their first thought. Right. But then people who actually watch the show, I don't, I don't I don't think it is what you think it is. Like when you see like the the, the promos and stuff like that, it, it's there's no mm. we didn't really know how to like you know present the show in any other way than just like just watch the episode. Because yeah. if, and you, I think if also you could like, say what is the premise? Yeah, though? in in one minute in sixty seconds. <laughs> pitch us, Although pitch even it. shorter than that. I mean, it's three aliens have come to Earth to study Earth's most average guy, which they've you know uh, to found Jeff to be that guy. And there's in theory they're there to uh, to see if Earth is worth saving. You know what I mean? Based on his like you know sort of like essence as a person mm -hmm. and his yeah. performance. He, he exemplifies all of humanity, right? Yeah. Right. Just right. as Jeff, but right. you know he's been going through a hard time. He just broke up with his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. He works at the mall. Mm -hmm. He lives in a, like a crappy apartment. So yeah. like. He's got other things to deal with than to have the fate of humanity on his shoulders. And these guys are like, you know, they they also are not like the most sort of like diligent workers. They they get they, and they also have a long time here on the planet. So like it ends up being that they're just roommates and they also are like they're there to help Jeff with his like you know, his like life human life problems, which yeah. they don't right. quite understand right. and they're always trying to like, you know, a like fresh perspective. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So you know, like, uh, like in one of the episodes, for example, like when Jeff is like, you know, is like he's out of money and he like wants to take his like girlfriend on a date to like, you know, impress, like have a nice time with her. They like they try to help. You know, they give him a machine that's an energy trader, so it like allows him to exchange like his like life essence for the equivalent uh, 
item that he wants. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, uh, this mug might be like a, a, you know a couple of hours worth of life. Right. But like, what are you saying about these mugs? <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, this mug <laughs> would be two weeks. Two weeks. At least a month. Well, yeah. These posters would be like two weeks okay. for sure. Okay. Those mugs but, uh, are coveted. I'm just saying. Yeah. But but he gets but Jeff like has very poor self control. So he immediately gets like a car and like an iguana oh and like all God. this like cool shit and he like loses. Let me know. And so it's like. But then, you know, so the episode's about, like, you know, that sort of, like, idea of, like, you know, exchanging your yeah. like, life energy mm -hmm. for, like, the things you actually want, yes. which is the thing we do normally, but, like, right. the aliens have a special machine that helps you to, like, you know, turn that into a, a story. So you guys work with the wonderful Ivy Eisenberg. She mm -hmm. casts your show. Yeah. Um, and how involved are you guys in the casting process? Um, do you listen to auditions? Do you weigh in? I mean, Ivy is so great about finding people from all over and you know obviously yeah. you may have ideas of who you want so how how does that work for your show the casting process um Go okay for it. no I'll, I'll i'll take this one um <laughs> ivy is awesome she's yeah. like uh and she is you know she is responsible she's for watching this so you hi yeah. ivy ivy hey, i think i <laughs> you nailed it ivy. i think I ivy's awesome too <laughs> Yeah. Just let the record show. Yeah. Sean um, thinks you're awesome. No, I mean, she, like, she got so many amazing people, you know, just like, you know, Malcolm McDowell. She just like, yeah. she's like, what about him for the, you know, yeah. for the yeah, uh, alien lord? She's a like, real hard worker, mm -hmm. hustler. She's can make yeah. it happen, you know? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. a lot of times, like, she's like, I don't know if I can do this, and then she'll pull it off and do it. So that's right. fantastic. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome to have somebody like that right. in your corner. And then there's a mix totally. of, like, that, and also, you know, we have, like, people that we like to work with that we, you know, we say, like, hey, what, what about this person? And mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And then, and, and, mm -hmm. and we'd like to, and we also encourage uh, in that collaboration with her, you know, in our in our sort of like uh, people that we like to go for, go from like everyone from like dramatic actors to like uh, you know stand up comedians and improvisers and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. And uh, you know that's and then obviously you know sort of the utility like you yeah. know incredible utility people you know like uh, Carlos Elizraki, yes. you know what I mean? Yeah. And like yes. uh, Frank yeah. Tattashort too is just like Tattashort, Trust McNeil is Jeff's mom. Yeah. Neil, yeah. You know, I mean the the cast is insane. Like the we cast got is amazing. like we don't just, we really, you know we got like uh, also just like Alicia Silverstone, uh, Christian Slater, mm -hmm. Keegan Michael Key. Brett Gelman. Brett Gelman's Jeff. Yeah. Brett Gelman is Jeff, which is just you know, and then John Daly, Josh Fadum, like mm -hmm. Natalie Smyka. I mean, the list goes on, right? Right. Yeah. You want, like, Absolutely. Uh, but yeah. we don't listen to too many auditions. Um, you don't. No, because well, Ivy obviously is like the yeah. you know she. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes she say like we'll say we want a British person, and she'll send us some samples, and she'll mm -hmm. say here's like five people that are British, and so then you'll uh, some of them are like past things. I think she's worked on with them. Sure. And some of them might just be from their right. reel. Right. So we do listen to those, but I think we try to avoid. We did at the very beginning and on some of the shorts, like where you just put out the the ad and the, to like the VO world, right. and then you just get so hundreds much stuff back, you know, just like throwing the yeah. net out to the seas, you know, and you, totally. And like there are some great people in there, and we found some great people. And when we cast the fa Fox thing, we did that, and we just listened to tons of them, and we found some great people. But that since we've done that a few times, we've sort of have found like. A Some lot of people, people that, that we really, really like, right. and so like right. instead of doing throwing out this net every time, we can kind yeah. of just be like, hey, you know, Carlos yeah. or Fred, he'd be great for this, and Beautiful. we start to know more people that we like. But we're always looking for new people. You don't want to use the same. No, for sure, it's good to like keep expanding yeah. and yeah. And also, one thing that we tried to do a lot of is like when we had like you know uh, somebody like we have an episode that takes place in Sweden. And we're like, let's make, let's get like actual Swedish people. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's like you can't fake that that sort of stuff. Not you know, really, like, yeah. you know, like you can right. get close, but yeah. like, you know, and some people obviously, like I think, you know, are just like amazing at dialects, and I guess sure, probably could yeah. crack it, but uh, but it's not worth it for like <laughs> for five lines in, in so our did show. You have right. to go to sweet Sweden. We got to, Swedish actors. We got like real. We have to travel to Sweden. Well, we did record it with right. a guy that was in Sweden. We it's I think we did it like two in the morning. You did. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Dude, you guys are freaking awesome, man. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. I have to say that. You're a lot of love I love from, you too, uh, man. Yeah. You know, you know, I, love, I, love that, I love that you guys are like funny, you're on fire, you yes. know, you're creating this like great Such show. Such great energy and passion. Absolutely, which great. by the way, like Stacy and I are already fans. We've been watching like some of the clips and stuff and we're like, oh my God, this is such Thanks. a good show. Thanks, and yes. just meeting the guys that are behind, you yeah. know, the creativity and the stuff. And knowing that you were like little kids when you just started like planting these seeds of like, hey, we're going to do something together one day. Right. And then you did. But That's it's so amazing. great to have, you know, you just keep putting it drops in that bucket and you just keep going, you don't give up. And that's such a powerful message for a lot of people watching, whether they're oh, yeah. actors, content yeah. creators. Yes. 
accountants, whatever it is, yeah. because that's a universal well, the, human experience the hope of not be, giving up if there's Well, the hope should be not that you're just like, you know, oh, nothing this time, but let's keep going. You know, it's yeah. not like that. It's more like, hey, that was fun. All right, yep. well, that didn't have, let's mm-hmm. do another one, right? Totally. So, like, if it's like that painful, you might want to adjust your course or something, right? Like, yeah. is, is there anything <laughs> that you guys can talk about in the way of like the animation style of the show? Was that like a... Yeah, I mean, I think... Well, let's see, where to start? I think, like, it starts from a place of, like, you know, I like to draw sort of, like, you know, slightly uglier people a lot that I feel like they're more interesting <laughs> looking than, like, yeah. super, like, perfectly rounded yeah. people. I've always, like, been gravitating towards that. And then, you know, we, we're like a snowball. We bring in a lot of talented people. We have a great character designer, Lotan. Mm-hmm. We have a great background designer, Chasen, who's sort of, like, even a fine artist in New York who does yeah. a lot of paintings, and he's never worked on a show before. So I feel like by pulling in all these different mm-hmm. outlets, we're sort of trying to make a show that looks different than other shows. And I think it's interesting because like a lot of shows come out and I think a lot of haters are like, this looks just like this show, like this is such a ripoff. And our show, most people are just like, this looks so dirty, like I, don't, I feel like I need to take a bath. A lot, <laughs> yeah, of, yeah. a lot of people have that reaction and I feel like it's interesting to me, it's almost like a psychological thing like that cartoons in general are very clean, right? Like, yep. the worlds are so, like, plastic and clean. Like, the books mm-hmm. never have, like, words on them. They're just, like, yeah. a red right. book, yeah. you know what right. I mean? And, like, yeah. and so we sort of, like, thought it would be cool to put a lot of detail into those things, put, like, a little, like, stain on the carpet, a little, like, that gives it character, and it's more like real life, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's interesting that some people, like, I don't know how many people, but some people are like, I can't watch it, it's so dirty, it gives me anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> and so I <laughs> think that's really interesting that, like... First of all, those people already have anxiety. Well, I think, <laughs> No, but my feeling is true, that actually. those people, if they watched a live action movie, wouldn't feel that way. Yeah. But there's something about right. cartoons that are like, this is supposed to be clean. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, and people like, get used to a certain thing, and then it's like, oh, no, same but, with, you know. Same with different. Jeff's body hair. Jeff has body hair. Yes, yeah, and yeah, 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 he does. And in the shorts, <laughs> in the shorts like, there's just like a shot where you see like some back hair, and yes. everyone that watches it is just like, ugh. So the bottom line here, in a nutshell, the bottom yeah. line of what we're trying to say is that every single person that is alive needs to be watching Jeff and some That's aliens right, right now. Why do they watch it? How do they watch it? How often hey. do they watch it? You can okay, so you can go back in time. You can watch it Wednesdays at ten thirty. Um, if not, watch it on uh, ComedyCentral.com on the app and. Um, there's clips on YouTube. You know, we it's have a Facebook page. Yeah, and, and on the like app that. you can yeah. go awesome. back and do on demand, basically. Like, you yeah, can watch yeah. Any we, of the yeah. Episodes. we have an Instagram, a Facebook, and a Twitter, and I think even a Tumblr that's not used that much. So you can follow, follow these all, guys. all of those things. Follow them everywhere. But also, follow I think them. I think Don't it's going to be. Don't follow them home, but follow them on I think social the episodes media. will be available for free on Go90, which is a Verizon platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. iTunes. Yeah. yeah. iTunes. Yeah. Amazon. <laughs> Amazon. Hey. Boy, you guys are all over the Zizzle, place. Zizzle, you know, some other shit. That, uh, Unbelievable. Me... Well, listen, yeah. congratulations. Thank you yes. so much. So freaking cool. Thank we're going to put yes. you on, on a quick little hot spot. All okay. right. And then we're out of here because we got to hey. go have some lunch. Should we both all pull right. one? Or... Yeah, you, you can pull your own if <laughs> well, you like. Well, look, right. look how excited they are. We both get one? <laughs> yeah. I'll this take. Is, there's plenty for everyone. Uh, read it in one of the aliens' voice. <laughs> all right. Uh... What do you wish you were better at saying no to? <laughs> That's Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah. Uh, what, I, what do I wish I was better at saying no to? Yeah. yeah everything. <laughs> everything. I wish. Are you I, were like a yes man? God, yes, I totally am. I'm always like, well, maybe if you want to do that, we. You know, it's I, 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 I That's should. Kind of I should refreshing. be a much w- more of a dick. Um, I think that'd be <laughs> make be my life better. Dick. You just uh, play one. Oh, you're TV. crazy, yeah. dude. Yeah. All right, what character what? voice? Uh, I don't, well, I don't do any of those you're, many voices. Uh, you're, uh, uh, Stu. Like, you do. Stu is basically my voice. So, so. Right, your voice. Stu. My, here's a, my character now, <laughs> Stu. Okay, yeah. This is Stu talking. What's the most beautiful drive you've ever taken? There what you go. This is Stu. <laughs> Stu, that was you Stu. Know, I'll just go with what I just did, which was, uh, well, I was just actually in St. John in the Caribbean, which is a really nice. cool place, and uh, I didn't realize how hard did it is. Did you drive there? Yeah, well, I didn't realize how hard it was to like catch a bus or something there because it's not a very populated island. Yeah. So right. we had to hitchhike, and so we'd get into these like pickup trucks. They'd be like, "You, me, and my brother, you can get in the back. It's just full of like lumber and like tools. There's no room for anybody." But we get in the back of this truck anyway, of course. and it's such a beautiful driver. It's actually pretty cool that you're in the back of a truck because you can see like all the island, and yeah. you can see like the boats yeah. and like the forest as you're winding around, the colors whacking your head on yeah. blocks That's of wood. Insane, man. <laughs> there you and, uh, go. There you go. <laughs> There's some new inspiration for well, you. Well, there you go. 
So well, you guys, it was a pleasure to to sit with you and to get inside your absolutely hey, twisted little mind. <laughs> the yeah. pleasure was all ours. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you for taking you. the time no. to come out and share you. with us. We hey. appreciate guys, it. Jeff and some aliens, Comedy Central. Find them all over social media. Give them some support. Thank absolutely. You. Thank you. We'll see you guys next time. All right. Thank you, Vo Buzz. Uh, hi guys. As you saw, we just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy, and uh, extremely buzzed. I'm fucked up right now. <laughs> And uh, it was great, and we encourage you to, you know, if you're curious, watch the show. Watch Jeff and some aliens. Tell your friends about it. I don't know. Right? Yeah. Final thoughts. Also, follow your dreams. And be nice to each other. And... and love rules, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> Uh, how long is this <laughs> going to go on? <laughs> wow, Alessandro and Sean are totally freaking yes. cool. Jeff and some aliens rocks. You guys need to watch it. It's crazy. Comedy Central, passionate, talented. I love it. Totally, Support so him, cool. It's not every day that we bring creators on the show to tell you the like the, the loops and loops that yeah. they had to jump over to get to where they got, but they did, and it's so cool. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, and we're going to see you next week with another show, so yes, stick we around. Will. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can listen to us on iTunes and watch us on the app. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and just remember, you, you always, always have, have time, time for, for a little, little buzz. buzz. Come on, come on, come on and get buzzed with us. The O Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demo That Rock. Rock. The voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit DemosVetRock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.